hey, the, the draft is coming up, mm-hmm. and you were not drafted. Nope. You were an undrafted free agent. Yes. And you are now going into your eighth year in the league. Yes. That's a long time ago, eight <laughs> years. And, and a credit to you for not being drafted and lasting this long, and you probably have a few more good years left in you too. Yeah. I'm wondering if not being drafted still motivates you. It does. Really? It really does. Great uh, question, huh? I have that chip <laughs> on my shoulder, and I, I deal with that a lot. Wow. Yeah, because it's – it's kind of a like I was messing with Lewis today about that, you know. I said, "Oh, you were drafted." I, I treated like a silver spoon type of deal. Guys that were drafted don't realize what guys that were undrafted have to go through. You know, off back, you're considered, you know, in my from my point of view, you're considered bottom of the barrel. You're, you know, it's okay for you to be cut. You know, uh, you you you're already starting behind the eight ball. Is how I look at it. So you have to go in and you have to outdo this guy who they drafted maybe for the same position so you you know being behind the eight ball is is, that's a bad thing and it's just uh if you mess up being undrafted coaches are like okay we we expected that you know yeah Yeah. we didn't give him a big signing bonus we didn't use a high pick on him right but there are two things about that Mm -hmm. number one is that you are share you share that spot with a number of your teammates mm-hmm. Chris Harris Jr. has just gotten a long term big contract oh, yeah. he's considered one of the may, maybe by a lot of people number one cornerback C.J. Anderson comes mm-hmm. in that that motivation factor maybe for the silver spoon babies mm-hmm. or what I call lucky sperm <laughs> babies because you're born to a rich person that's what I call it yeah. <laughs> and I think it, that, that they don't have the same sort of will and the second thing is but the average shelf life of an NFL player is four years. Right. You have doubled that shelf life. So I assume that it also continues to motivate you. Mm-hmm. Not that you think about it all the time, but, I, you know, look what I have accomplished. Right. Right. That's a that's a big deal for me, man. And like I say, you know, referring back to it, it, it just is like field of the fire for me. You know, you just you know where you came from and you know where you want to go and I'm not where I want to be, so I have to work even harder. So <laughs> right tackle, Sean Field, Sean Field, who didn't play last year. Mm-hmm. People are talking about inserting him. We're hearing in the draft. Uh, who else is uh, – so that at least two major competitions there. There's one other player that's a tackle that I'm missing. I'm sure uh, you've seen Paul, Paul Cornick. Uh, Cornick. Yeah, Cornick. Cornick. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want to dismiss him because he mm-hmm. started a few games last right. year. They may draft one. So there is going to be – it's going to be, mm-hmm. I think, the strongest competition you've faced since you've been here. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's always good competition, man. It's no matter what team you're on, just being in the NFL, you know, you're going to be in competition, you know, to have that logo, that that seal of approval, man, being a part of that NFL. So it doesn't matter what position you play or what uh, what team you're on. It's going to be ridiculously hard.